www.ebitda.com. Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the August 3rd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, inside our Tigers, and well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got all the U.S. indices trading in the upside. Dow's up 448, one and four tenths percent, one and six tenths for the S&P, or 67 points. Nasdaq, two and seven tenths percent, or 351 points. Russell's up one and three tenths, 25 points there. The semis are up 62. That's a little over two percent. 145 for the trendies. That's one percent to the upside. Gold's trading out at 1776. That's back 13 bucks, or seven tenths percent. Silver's off one percent, 21 cents. Trade out at 1992. Lightsweet crude is off 329. She's testing resistance. 91.13 is the print there. Natural gas up three pennies. 7.74 in the 30-year treasury. Trade down at 142.14. That is back 17 ticks. Lead the charge. Dollar-wise, the upside. You got uh, El Nylum Pharmaceuticals up 58 bucks or 41 percent. Mercado Libre up 51 bucks, six percent. Regenerant up 38 bucks or six percent. MicroStrategy up 14 percent or 39 bucks. Moderna up 26 bucks, 16 percent there. To the downside, Solar Edge Technology. Is up 62 bucks. Micro sectors, U.S. Big Oil. That's a uh, Charles River Labs off 22. Alta Beauty down 18. Steris is off 18. Horizon Therapeutics down 17. So we certainly have some movers and some shakers out there. But let's go take a look at what's going on in the markets. To do that first, let's go take a look at our equity future contracts out here. Here we've got the uh, daily time frame. What you should notice is that there are some new profiles. They did form. Those new profiles are in the ES, upper left, Dow, lower left, Russell 2000, lower right. The NQ has not generated a new profile. Now, the profile for the ES and YM form below price. That is a bullish message out there. We're up above the highs inside the ES mini. We are not above the highs inside the Dow. Those highs took place two days ago. Uh, that suggests what the ES mini wants to do is go target its next price projection level on its C to D leg. That would take us into the 4226 area. If we take a look at the NQ, strong like bull. It's gotten over the highs from back here in, um, when was it, in June? And now it's uh, targeting the highs in the uh, May time frame out here. So you got no topping signal. You've got the A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, you had a, a two-day uh, knee-jerk reaction bottom that uh, formed here for each of these equity future contracts out there. Uh, that is a signal of a strong bull market. That ain't no bull out there. So the next price target, well, it's really already gotten to it, 13.282. That's 1.618. A to B equals CD. The next area to target is 13.738. Of course, we have to look at the weekly profiles out there. I believe price is trading into a bearish structured weekly profile. But from the daily standpoint, no resistance. Likewise, inside the Dow, other than the high from two days ago, and if price get above that, its next price projection level takes it to 33.713. 
The Russell 2000 also generated a new profile. Now, the top of that profile is at 1892.46. We're trading at 1910. So it formed yesterday. Uh, that has not acted really well as resistance. In fact, if price closes above that 1892.46 level, that's also telling us about, about a strong move to the upside. Now, the 1.618 extension, that's the C to D extension, would, uh, price, would give us a price target of 1930. As we take a look at the weekly profiles out here, and the weekly profiles, what we'll see is that the NQ is uh, above the top of its bearish structured weekly profile, but running right into descending trend line resistance. Now, I'm not saying that this is where the rally is going to stop. It could, but we'll want to watch that trend line resistance. You want to put that down on your uh, charts out there and watch that level. As far as the ES Mini, before it can get up to trend line and profile resistance, that move would take us to 43.55. In the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, that same or similar move would take us to 33.935. In the Russell 2000, it's uh, testing the third fan of its descending trend line out there. Price can clear this area. We're at about 19.10 right now. 19.44 would be the next move. And then above that, you'd be looking at 20.66. Now, let's go spend a little time and take a look at the uh, the uh, multi-panel time frame charts here for the NQ and the ES Mini. See if we get any kind of feel for what's going on as we take a look at these multiple time frames. So we're gonna change screens here. Momentarily, you'll see eight different white background screen. The left one, upper left is the monthly time frame. The monthly time frame shows that the uh, close below its breakout level of 12,209.75 was a one hit wonder, only one bar below that. This suggests that price could go target the 14,697 level. So if price takes out that descending trend line, that would be a price target to the upside. Another price target to the upside, if price can take out that trend line, I've got different trend lines drawn on the uh, NQ, the consolidated contract, or the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 you, you, can you can see the trend line. If price takes out that trend line, another price target there is the, that was a continuous contract, just had a little brain fart there. Sorry for the smell of that brain fart, by the way. But that would take us to 14,412. That would be another target if, in fact, the NQ can get over that descending trend line out there. The daily time frame, no topping signal. Today's going to become bar number six, as if we were going to get a TD9 count pattern, that the earliest that that would form would be, uh, well, you could get a bar number eight on Friday. So it'd be between Friday and Tuesday. Speaking of bar number eight, that is what is in place right now or being, well, let me see here. Hold on a second here, Stevie. Let me just hit the update key. And did we get to bar number eight just yet? Uh, we have not. But if price can close, well, we are forming bar number eight. It just needs to get above in order to potentially give us a TD nine count top for the 30 minute time frame. You need to spike above 13, 276.50. That probably will only be a few moments from now. If we take a look at the uh, 60 minute time frame chart, so this says by two o'clock, this is going to complete a TD nine count top. Bar number eight on the 120 minute time frame, that's going to complete at 2 p.m. That says 4 p.m. is when bar number nine would complete out there. So that is suggesting even if the 60 minute NQ gives us a TD9 count top and the market responds, not expecting a gigantic rug pull out there. Not that you can't get it, but not really expecting that. Now, where price would pull back to on these TD9 counts should, in fact, they unfold, uh, you'd have to say 13,168 to 13,113 would be price levels to pay attention to. Those are the only signals that I see at the moment here that could signal at least a short-term top. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 Welcome back, up, folks. You got the Dow up 426, S&P's up 65, NASDAQ 100, 354 to the upside. We're going to go take a look at the uh, currency pairs. This is for Peter from Park City inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, so, Peter, now the only chart here that's not updating, I'd have to change data feeds. And, and I'll do that during the show out here is the U.S. dollar index out there. So um, that is, we can talk about that uh, as well. But let's go start with the euro. So the euro formed a nice roads momentum indicator bottom, which has basically led to a sideways move. Move. That sideways move over the last uh, couple of weeks out here. Price is still holding today. It's actually testing that red oscillator and change line. We've seen a couple different tests there. Peter, if price were to close below 1.01, that's going to suggest a run back at the recent lows out there, that road's momentum indicator bottom. Otherwise, the euro is just in this little sideways consolidation from about the 1.01 level to one point, uh, almost up to 1.03, uh, just just below that area. You got a nice TD9 count bottom that formed inside the Japanese yen. That suggests that price will target its oscillator and change line. That's at 135.85. Now, don't quote me right to the tick out there because that number is going to go up and down. But that's your general range. 135.85 should be where it targets. Now, if price can close above that, Peter, that signal would tell us that price is going to make a run for the 138.87 level. That is the TD9 count breakdown resistance area. The Great British Pound formed a TD9 count. No, it did not form a TD9 count top. It, uh, it was trying to, and it lasted for basically a day or just a few moments out there. So this is really a strong momentum move. But right now, the Great British Pound, Peter, it's trading below resistance. That's at 1.233. That's a TD9 count breakdown level. And above its oscillator and change at 1.20 and above its breakout level of 118. So that's really trading in a range out here. As far as what its next move is likely to be, hard to say, but wouldn't be surprised to see it get down and test that oscillator and change line. But it doesn't really have to. When I say it doesn't have to, we don't have the topping signal to suggest that that would be the outcome. The loony out there, the loony has uh, confirmed a TD Nike out bottom. Again, when you confirm a top or a bottom, what we typically will see is price make its way to that oscillator and change line. It's one of the reasons you want to go ahead and learn about that tool and get that tool or apply it to your charts if you can. Here we can see that the Canadian dollar, Looney, has gotten up to the 128 level. Price can close above that, Peter. Then that's going to signal move up to 130. That's a TD9 count breakdown area. If we take a look at the uh, 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 Swedish Corona, 
out there, what we can see is what? Not a lot. I get, this is just trading. Support is at that 10.03 and resistance at 10.29. When it comes to the Swiss franc, the Swiss franc had negated its TD nine count bottom, so never got a bottoming pattern from that. Now maybe there was an A to B equals CD pattern out there. Do I see one? I see an A to B equals CD, but I don't see one that was complete. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, actually, did it hold this TD nine count bottom? Oh, that's what it was doing. So, Peter, if we take a look at the TD9 count pattern that formed on June 29th, it was a bar following bar number nine. That low was the support area, and that's what price was testing. Now with price above a red oscillator and change line, I don't know where the uh, Swiss uh, uh, franc will close today, but if it does close above 0.96062, that suggests a further move higher, possibly up to the TD9 count breakdown area at 0.9841. So hope that helps you out with regard to the currencies. The U.S. dollar index did form a brand new profile. That profile is between the support range is at uh, 105.63. When I say support, I'm referring to the bottom of the profile. The top is at the 106.82 area. So thanks for the request. Hope that helps you out and have a, a wonderful Wednesday. The next request coming in from uh, Tim M. Tim writes in I wants to take like a ticker symbol PRVA. So let's get over to our set of charts that we can look at for that. And what Tim is looking for is an entry point. So we take a look at PRVA. Uh, we can see that its weekly time frame chart ha is in the process of negating its TD9 count top. Let's expand this out here. So if price closes on Friday above the high of bar number, in this case here, it's bar number nine, that high is 37.78 or 38.72. A close about 37.78 on Friday. Tim is going to suggest to move up to 46.89. Now, I know you're asking for an entry point, but uh, I've just got to cover these charts one at a time here. The daily time frame is taking out a Rhodes momentum indicator topping pattern. It looks like so. Here's the here's the here's the signal that took place on the July 21st, and then the confirmation came on July 27th when a bearish engulfing candle formed out there. But uh, price is uh, actually closed above that and negated it yesterday. You're only in bar number five out here. This is suggesting a further move higher. Again, we haven't gotten to where's the entry point because we're trying to understand what's going on here. And this is nothing but uh, a big, huge rally to the upside that looks like it wants to continue to move. So now when asking where is an entry point out here, wow. So one entry point, now that price is above the top of its daily profile, one entry point, it's not much below where we're trading right now, is 37.98. The entry point below that would be 36.85, and below that would be the 34.99 level. Now, we don't have anything in place at the moment that suggests that that is what the outcome is going to be. But if you did get a retracement out here, um, I would understand taking that uh, taking that long position. It's one of those ones where you're going to have to take it, hold your nose, and jump into the deep end of the pool out there. It's not the ideal setup. Uh, the 65-minute chart, as I look at this a little closer, does have a TD9 count and Rhodes momentum indicator top, but price is above its oscillator and change line, so it's really a neutral signal there. The 130-minute chart might form might form a a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but again, price is bullish. It's above profiles and the green oscillator and change line. So back to where's your entry area? Just based upon the 65-minute chart, if price can get below that oscillator and change line, 37.88, 37.78 would be one area to consider out here. Yeah, that's about all that I've got. So I think what you really have to do here, uh, Tim, is on the PRVA. Should this thing pull back? Uh, sometime over the next couple of days, why don't we relook at it? Re you know, get reach back out to me. We'll see if there's any kind of uh, bottoming pattern forming on some type of intraday chart, even a 15 minute chart out here, 15 or 30. So I hope that answered your question. I don't really think it gave you the answer that you were looking for, and that's just simply because it's not present to me at this point. So I did give you a couple different areas that would be logical places to uh, begin a uh, position out there. So I hope that helps you out. The next question uh, coming in from uh, Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Dan wants to go take a look at BTAI. So let's get, uh, let's do this here. I don't think it's been trading that long, but let me put it up here, BTAI. This is going to take just a few moments to populate. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to my BTAI, the black background chart. So let these white ones populate. Uh, so give me a moment to change that screen. So we wanted to, Dan is a, uh, Dan got into this position a couple of days ago. And uh, at the time that he got into that position, 
I was uh, noticing that it was so two days ago. Price was trading below a swing point with volume. That is August the 1st. The uh, swing point, uh, well, it was really trading below a couple swing points. The swing point that it was tra trading below was from July 26th. That had 210000 And then it was taking out this uh, swing low that had 325000 from July 12th. So what I wrote inside the Tiger's Den was uh, be careful of the potential A to B equals CD pattern here to the downside, which would look something like this. Now, what we have is price is now back above the B point. That's at 1489. You're at 1515. Now, of course, it'll be at the end of day, Dan, that we'll want to take a look at that. What happens if price closes back above 1489? I would say the more important level for price to close back above is 1512, the bottom of that daily profile, because price was below it for two consecutive sessions out there. So that's the first place that we want to start. The weekly chart, strong like bull. Why? Because you have a new profile forming that is below price. We'll look at those white background charts for BTAI as soon as we get back from this break. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, up, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol BTAI. That is Bioxyl Therapeutics. This is for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. And so, Dan, as we take a look at these charts out here, though, there are a couple things that stick out to me. Probably uh, when I put these charts up on the screen, they stuck out to you as well. And the first one is from the daily time frame. And the daily time frame shows that today's rally has been nothing more than a test and so far rejection of that oscillator and change line. Now, that's printed at 1572. Price gotten up to 1574. So, so far, this is just a counter trend move. Now, if price closes above, and I know earlier before we went to the uh, white background charts, we were talking about, hey, the important level to close above was 15. 11 or 15, 13, uh, what did I say? 15, 12, 15, 12. Um, yeah, I take that back now 
because now I can see what it's actually doing here. And that's testing the oscillator and change line. Now, if price can close above 1572 today, now it might be 1573 or 74 when it gets up there. Then that would signal a move back to its recent highs or at least 1616 or 1721. But you really need to see that next. If I look at the 195-minute time frame chart, we really have kind of a similar situation in that price is testing and has been deflected both by the top of its profile and that oscillator and change line out there. If I look at the 130-minute time frame chart, 1557 was the TD9 count breakdown level. Price got to that, and it's moving lower. I'm not saying that it's curtains or anything like that, but you still have that A to B equals CD to the downside where the price projection of 1281, it's confirmed, meaning that you took out a swing point with volume out there. So I still say uh, you should be uh, careful here. But by being careful, what you want to just do first, at least initially, is watch the shorter term time frame uh, support levels. And in the 15 minute time frame, that's at 1507. 1507 is the bottom of its current profile. On the 30 minute time frame, that level is going to be its green oscillator and change line. That is currently printing at uh, 1506. A close below 1506 is going to suggest to move back to 1441 to 1403. And I don't really see anything else uh, out there other than that. So I do hope that helps you out with regard to what shareholders are doing with BTAI. Now, I love the weekly. It's got a nice road momentum indicator bottom, and you got a nice TD9 count bottom on the monthly time frame chart as well. It's the daily that's giving you the uh, a bit of a problem. That's where I said, boy, would this be a ni nice ideal stock? to buy a Gartley buy pattern. That would be the A to B equals CD to the downside. I'll put that chart back up on the screen just in case we're fortunate enough to get it out here. Um, and it looks like this. Here's the daily chart. We'll expand it out. So that's all that we're looking at. And a Gartley pattern, folks, is uh, basically when you have a, uh, a move, in this case here, a move to the upside that you would like to get in on, uh, what H.M. Gartley came up with was the and, and, uh, combination of H.M. Uh, and I'd say Larry, the A to B equals C.D. to the downside. Now, if price got down to around 1281 and then we got a bullish reversal candle, that would be your Gartley buy pattern. But there's a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals C.D. price projection level, and that's at 1195 and below that 1084. Are we guaranteed to get there? Absolutely not. And if price closes above that green oscillator change on the daily time frame, then I say, okay, that move is likely over. But we don't have that just yet. So we've given you the parameters, and that's what to look for. So for Dan, it's a long-term strategy for you. Uh, perfect. Um, I hope all that information helped you out. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from LB. LB writes in. He says, hey, Steve, I've got two stocks if you have time. We're going to make the time. The first stock is CTRM. So I believe I got that one started on my three-panel chart. Let's move over to it. Uh, let's change the screens out here so I'm not talking about one thing and everybody's following along saying, what the heck is that guy talking about? So we don't want to do that, even though I do that, uh, which seems like fairly often these days. So again, the ticker symbol here that we're looking for, for LB, for Lee, is uh, CTRM. And CTRM is uh, Castor Maritime, which is traded out at $1.69. You can see an A to B equals C to the upside. Um, I'll take a look at what that pattern looks like on my other set of charts out here and just simply report back to you where the one-to-one -one and so forth is. So it's already achieved the one-to-one, -one, which was a buck seventy-two. No bearish reversal candle. So its next price target would be a buck eighty. Above that would be a buck ninety. Now those are general guidelines. If you look at a weekly time frame chart, what we see out here is that price is trading above the top of its weekly profile, which is 165. Lee, it's only Wednesday, but a close above that on Friday would be a bullish outcome. That bullish outcome will be suggesting to move to 250 out there. Um, so everything looks pretty good. If you were to receive a, oh, I take that back. You did get a confirmed sell the D-point pattern. We have big old shooting star that formed out here on July 28th. So you're really neutral. Price above the top of its profile and above its oscillator and change line but that is your resistance level okay glad that i took just a closer look at it so there's your shooting star that resistance is up at the buck 77 level so if price can close above buck 77 then this is headed to 205 it looks really pretty good as we speak right now based upon the uh, daily and the weekly charts that we looked at so lee i hope that helps you out with that your second request was gte so let's get those charts fired up here. And uh, your question is, you can't do both, or it's not a problem, either one is fine. I'm looking for a short-term trade of both a four- to six-week outlook. So in the case of GTE, maybe this is giving you a better opportunity because price is pulling back. So let's take a look at it. What price is doing 
right now is trading with inside a, a daily profile that formed, it looks like, about three days ago. And uh, what do we have here? It looks like we also have a Gartley sell pattern. So that Gartley sell pattern, I'll draw on the A to B leg here, and, and then we'll draw, and I'll just move that over to the C point out there just to kind of confirm that, in fact, this is a sell to D point pattern or a Gartley sell. So that I can grab it. There we go. Was that high enough? Eh. I think I'd be played. I, yeah, it really wasn't high enough to complete an A to B equals CD. So we take that back. This does not have a confirmed Gertley sell pattern. But what it does have is a uh, is a pattern with price consolidating with inside its daily profile. And so the first entry area would be between 115 and 119. 115 is the bottom of the daily profile. 119 is currently the uh, oscillator and change line. As I look to the weekly time frame out here, all we have is a consolidation or price trading with inside its weekly profile. That would be between the price range of a buck eleven to a buck forty-five. Now at a buck eleven, you have both the bottom and the center. So a dollar eleven should be strong support on any kind of a pullback. So if your question was you're looking for an entry point for a short-term trade, the buck eleven area looks up pretty good. Now in a monthly time frame, what GTE has as Grand Tierra Energy, it does have a confirmed TD9 count top. That suggests that price should pull back and test its oscillator and change line. It got very close to it last week, so we're going to say maybe that that test is done. But perhaps price will pull back and get to that buck level out there. So the answer to your question is dollar uh, eleven would be where I'd be targeting an entry point for a, a short-term trade out there. So LB, thanks so much for writing in. I do hope that helps you out and have a, a wonderful Wednesday. The next question coming in from HD. And HD writes and he says, would you please analyze RIG and HECLA, HL, for support and resistance? So absolutely. So let's go ahead and get in uh, Rigatoni out here, see what it is uh, doing. Transocean RIG, R-I-G being the ticker symbol. Momentarily, we'll have the answers that uh, uh, HD is looking for, which was support and resistance. Well, on a daily time frame, support is at about $2.99. That is the top of its daily profile where the oscillator and change line is trading. As far as resistance goes, well, that's going to be yesterday's high because this is or appears to be completing a Gartley sell pattern. We've got a bearish engulfing candle today. That says that the high of the pattern is resistance. That high from yesterday was 399. Now, if price were to close above that, you've got resistance at four and a quarter. But 399 is the answer to your question, and 299 is the answer to your question, both support and resistance. That's the daily time frame. As we look at the uh, monthly time frame, do I have anything really yet to add out here? You've got another resistance level, and that's at the uh, three dollar and sixty-seven cent mark out there, and that is the uh, top of its weekly profile. So HD, uh, we got uh, your rig in. When we come back for this break, let's go take a look at Hecla. Ticker symbol there, folks, is HL. Right. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol HL. That is a uh, Hecla, and uh, right now trading out at 437. So you do have a new profile that formed out here for the daily time frame that formed yesterday. That is below price. That is a bullish message. That does not mean that Hecla won't pull back and test the top of that profile of 419 or the oscillator and change line. But it has given you a bullish message out here on the weekly time frame. What do we have? Really, not much other than price trading with inside its weekly profile. So all that I can provide to you here, HD, is the support level and resistance. And support is between 361 and 379, bullish structured weekly profile. And resistance is at $4.83. Now look at the monthly time frame chart out here. Not really helping us a ton. Price is trading below its monthly profile, so that's not exactly the most bullish message. I don't have a completed pattern. I don't have a completed A to B equals CD or anything along those lines. The daily did form a Rosemontum indicator bottom, so you at least have that. So what it does look like to me, what Hecla is signaling to us, is that uh, it wants to do some kind of retracement out here. Maybe that gets us back to 409, but uh, longer term it wants to add higher. Now that head higher would take us up to 483, and we'll have to see how uh, price deals with those sellers on the weekly time frame up at the top of that profile. But that's all that I see when I take a look at the charts for Hecla. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. We had a request inside the Tiger's Den to look at uh, Rolls-Royce. The ticker symbol there is R-Y-C-E-Y, -E and it's from Ron M. And I'm going to change uh, panels out here. Is that there wasn't a ton to see on the uh, white background charts, uh, so we'll just go take a look at the black background, black background charts out there. And the question is, what do you think of uh, Rolls-Royce thinking long-term? And, uh, well, first look at the monthly chart out there. This thing has been under accumulation or sideways movement at these lows since uh, January of 2021. So it's been 18 months, right? And it may be 24 months or more months than that out there. So this, and that's why I put inside the uh, Tiger's Den. To me, this looks like dead money out here. Now let's go take, so it's under accumulation. But, uh, and typically you'd say you want to see a sign of strength out here. Well, that's what I would have said. Okay, looks like maybe this thing is under accumulation. If we really take this back uh, further out here, right, uh, we can kind of see what's going on. And you want to look for a sign of strength out here. Well, here's one sign of strength. Wide price spread accelerated volume. That should have been the signal. And that's right here on the trading day of uh, March 25th, 2022 uh, out there. But what happened? That was a one-hit wonder. I mean, it's one thing for price to pull back and test the support of that, which would have been, uh, you know, the prior day, uh, March 24th. But price got below that area. Here's another sign of strength. And it turned out to be what? I mean, that was not as wide a price spread, but decent a price spread. And certainly the accelerated volume on June 14th, that never held out there. So I am not seeing a lot of great things inside of uh, Rolls-Royce, and it just doesn't have a you know, ton of liquidity to try to trade this intraday. I mean, you can. But I just don't, 
I, I know this is a long-term hold out there. I, I don't see it. However, not the however, to the extent that you want to add this to your portfolio out there, I'd say the place to uh, do that at would be at about a buck a one, 101 to 105. Um, I don't have any signals to suggest that price is going to get back out there. But since it's been trading in a sideways range out here for so long, there's no reason for it not to do that. And that's the place that you'd want to go ahead and uh, take your entry. But uh, not seeing any kind of signals that this is going to be a gigantic uh, moneymaker out there. Um, at least not as of 146 in the afternoon on August the uh, 3rd. So I do hope that helps you out, Ron. Thanks so much for writing in. That was coming in from the uh, Tiger's Den. Uh, do I have any other questions out here? Let me just check real quickly. It looks like we do not. Let me just make sure. Don't like to fall behind. Nope, no other questions that have come in at this stage. So what do we want to do? We've got four minutes to do anything that we'd like. Well, let's go take a look at the markets and uh, see if there's something here worthwhile for us to go try to track down. So what do we want to track down? Myrna, Moderna out there. Sure, we'll be happy to take a look at that. That is for ELO, E L ELUT, ELUTO. Doesn't really matter. That's just simply the handle out there. M R N A is the uh, ticker symbol. That is Moderna. I saw a lot of those stocks were moving to the upside. Uh, Moderna up 26 bucks at 16% out there. And as we take a look at what is it doing or what is it not doing? Well, when we take a look at the daily time frame out here. Let's just simply expand this out. The only real signal that I've got, it is in wave number four, that is letter D, uh, has not confirmed a D top, but does sometimes at those at that fourth move, you see the stock do something. Well, price is trading above the top of that daily profile, 180.73. So if uh, if something is to occur out here, you would you would think that what price would do would pull back and test that level of resistance that could then become support. So 180.73 is an area to be watching. Uh, the only signal that price is going to move back there is that uh, fourth uh, wave move, letter D, out there. As we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we can see that price is trading above uh, its prior swing point out there. So we want to understand what the volume matrix is. So the swing point took place on the trading week of July the 8th. And that volume was 26 million shares. So far today, through today, I should say, we are at, or it is at 18 million shares. So we're halfway through, 1818 is 36. To my knowledge, 36 is more than 26. So what you're getting now is a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside pattern out here. So let's try to, let's go switch back to the black background chart simply because, oh, I'm, I am on the black background charts. Was I not on the black background charts before? Shoot, my apology for that. Well, it's okay. I think it still works with the, uh, and even the daily, the swing point, which was from the trading day of July 8th, that volume was 7.5. You're already at 10 million shares. So let's look first at the uh, weekly. That's uh, probably going to be similar or the same as the uh, daily. But here's the weekly. A to B equals C D to the upside pattern. Uh, 18073, 180, yeah, 18073. I guess we already covered that when I was looking at that. So that's their B point. Well, that's great. It's not taking. Why is it not taking? There we go. Let's try this one more time out here. There's our A. Here's our B. Ah, oh, shoot, you know what I have to do? Actually, the low of that pattern is really the B point and the C point are using the same candle out there. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and use the, I'm going to go ahead and use the low from July 25th. So we're looking at an A to B equals C to that uh, should take us up into the 216, 234 level out there. If we take a look at the uh, daily A to B equals C to pattern out here, the A point is going to be the low from June 13th. The B point is going to be the high from uh, July the 8th and the C point here, this one's really clear, so this is easy, is gonna be the low from July 28th. And uh, that's what's gonna also give us that 216.85 uh, mark. So it looks like that's where price is headed to. Who had requested Moderna? That was inside the Tigers, that was Ron M. So Ron, it looks like that's where price is headed to out there. I don't really see anything else worthwhile to uh, take a look at. So uh, best of luck to you. I hope that information assists. Uh, Shazam writes in, what just happened? I was in Boyle and made 3.5% big time move up. I was too mesmerized to exit and search the news, but something must have happened. Well, it really wouldn't be Boyle. It would be what's inside Boyle, which I believe is the uh, September natural gas futures contract. I believe that's all that is inside there. So we really would want to go take a look at what's going on inside of uh, natural gas. Let's try to answer that question. So Shazam 
why don't we do that when we get back to the break? That's how we'll end the show, I believe. We'll be taking a look at natural gas. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, up, folks. So we're taking a look at the uh, natural gas contract, the September contract for natural gas. I believe that is what is entirely inside that the ETF boil, uh, which is being long. So here's what we know about natural gas at this stage here. So we had a nice run up last week, which took us back to its prior highs and found uh, resistance and then pulled back on a weekly basis. All it's done so far is test and reject its green oscillator and change line. There's no topping signal, just price getting back to resistance level. So this is still bullish from a weekly standpoint. The uh, monthly chart, you can see a nice Rosemont indicator top and prices pulled back to that green oscillator and change line. So its signal is neutral to bullish out there. The daily time frame, price got back up to a TD9 count breakdown area, $9.13. There is no topping pattern out there. Price just simply got back to resistance. If today price can close above 797, that's its daily green oscillator and change line, that's going to suggest, well, 844 would be one move. And above that, we're back to the 913 level. Right now on the 30-minute and the 60-minute time frame charts and on the 120-minute time frame chart, 
Uh, you can see that price is taking on TD9 count breakdown resistance. They're at 819, 820, and 820, uh, respectively 30, 60, and the 120 minute time frame. So closes above those levels suggest higher price as well out there. So um, that's all I see when I take a look at the September contract for natural gas. I do hope that helps you out. That was for Shazam. So how are we going to end the uh, show out here with about uh, 15, 20 seconds to go? I don't really know. How are we going to end it? Um, I guess we're just going to end it by, uh, you know, asking everybody to have a, a wonderful Wednesday and to uh, stay tuned for your favorite polar bear. And that's none other than uh, David White out there. And then, of course, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Please have a wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.